How are you doing? So I am at Dovestone Reservoir with my gorgeous friend Emma. I almost called her Haley. And then Emily. That's okay. And then Emily. Yeah, because Haley and Emily rhymes Emma and Haley, you know. Very close. Yes, very, very close. <laughs> We're gonna be walking all the way around uh, the reservoir today and it's gonna be fun. I mean the weather is a bit um it's okay actually, you know, you gotta be grateful for everything, right? Yes, I'm freezing cold. She's a weenie. <laughs> hey, she was wearing her hat a minute ago, and as soon as I said that I am gonna, I am gonna film my hat, and she took it off just to make me look like an idiot. She's a mad. <laughs> it's supposed to be summer, but it's absolutely freezing. It's absolutely freezing. But look at that view, though. Amazing. living life on your terms. How's life, my dear? Woo! Here's a question that I want to ask you, oh, right? <laughs> I'm going to put Emily, Emma, <laughs> on the spot. So do you think people with horrible beginnings uh, end up creating the best futures? I think they have the potential to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, there's a reason why the people that have suffered go on to do like what you've done, you know, share motivational um, stories, inspirational stories to help other people. I think it just shows the potential of what, what we can do. Um, but everybody's journey is different. I mean, I've always said this too, like not to belittle anybody's trauma. You know, there can be something that if you hear about somebody's trauma to one person, it might be like seem silly to them because maybe something way 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 worse has happened to them mm. you know and so it's it's all relative and i think there are people out there that horrific things have happened to them but you wouldn't know it like yeah. they embrace it yeah. they're grateful for it yeah Guys, we've come full circle. Yay! Yay we finished the hike. Yay! 
Um, so what was your experience like, Emma? Well, I loved it. Um, it's any time I get to connect and be in nature, it's just absolutely amazing. It just reminds me more and more that I want to do this so much more. And it was lovely going around as well because we saw a herringbird, yeah. we saw a pheasant, um, we saw a beautiful red and black uh, butterfly that were absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I think it was a bit dying as well. Well, we won't talk about that too much, but <laughs> circle of life and all that. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was beautiful and then beautiful to hang out with um, yeah. Medea and have some amazing conversation along yeah. the way as well. We sat at the picnic areas and we just had a deep conversation and some insights yes. <laughs> as well. Some, some collaboration. Yeah, in the future, get excited. <laughs> so I've been coming here for many years, like so. This is my favorite place to come. Um, just you can do a long hike here or short hike here, like just walk around the reservoir for an hour, and it's such a grounding place to come. Anyone who's stressed out, um, get yourself out in nature because um, you know whatever's going on in the world right now. Get yourself out in the nature, and um, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. true what they say, blow the cobwebs away. It certainly did today. In fact, I'm crying now, like my eyes oh, are watering. Yeah. And now uh, my oh. ears have been flapping. <laughs> I've been flying myself I in the wind. I absolutely love her earrings. It's <laughs> so nice. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to head home. And uh, yeah. So take care, guys. Peace and love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>